Hey there do-it-yourself technicians. Today we're going to talk about a cross-platform alternative to remote support and remote access. Last week we talked about remote support with Windows 10 built-in Quick Assist, which is great for giving and receiving support for Windows 10 and 11 PCs. But it falls short in a couple of different situations. The obvious one is when you want to support somebody who's not using Windows. Yes, Mac users need help too. Chrome Remote Desktop can also be configured for Linux, but that's probably a little beyond the scope of this video. If you are using Linux though, please let me know in the comments down below. As with last week's episode, a warning. As a user, you should not do this unless you know the person who you are dealing with remote controlling your computer. Make sure whoever it is has your best interests at heart. If you're the slightest bit unsure, shut the session down immediately. The other way Windows 10 Quick Assist falls short is if you want to remote control a computer that you own that is somewhere else. For me, that might mean remoting into my video edit machine while I'm at work for something, or remoting into the PC connected to the TV, either from my office, or if I'm sitting on the couch right in front of it and I can't find the keyboard and mouse or the batteries have gone flat. Enter Chrome Remote Desktop. To access it, you've probably got pretty much everything you need. Google Chrome. To get started, just go to remotedesktop.google.com. Depending on whether you're logged in to Google Chrome or not, you might get one of two different versions of this page. Folks that are not logged in tend to get this page, giving a little bit more of a description on how the system works. If you're logged in, you tend to get this page with the two main options you want over on the left hand side. Whichever way you see it, you've got remote support and remote access. It's also worth noting that whichever way you use it, you will need a Google account. If you want to see our episode on Google account, there's a really old one up here. I think it was one of the first five episodes I did. To share your screen and get support, you need to download the Chrome Remote Desktop extension, which is fairly simple and painless, but required to give Chrome access to the whole desktop. Just follow the steps one by one and the software will get installed. These steps are done on a Mac, but on Windows, it's basically exactly the same. Once it's installed, you can generate a code that you can then give to the person who's trying to help you. They enter the code and they'll see this screen while waiting for you to confirm that you want them to have access. From here, it's a standard if simplified remote session. You can see here where I'm controlling a Mac laptop from my Windows 11 beta laptop, which can get slightly confusing. It works well and performs smoothly. This bar on the side docks and undocks nicely and gives a few different shortcuts as well as allowing access to multiple screens. It's also got access to a whole bunch of cool network stats if you're into that sort of thing. There's also an option to install a Chrome app that pops the remote session out in its own window, which is really handy, and also allows access to a few more keyboard shortcuts. The second use case focuses on remote controlling computers that you own, also known as unattended access because it means once you've gone through the setup process, you can access that machine anytime it's powered on and connected to the internet. The setup is as simple as going to the remote access tab, selecting the download icon on the setup remote access part of the window, downloading and installing the app, giving the machine a name and entering and confirming a six digit code. Once this is done, when you're logged into the remote access view on another computer, you'll see the name of the PC, you can click on it enter the pin and connect to that machine. It really is very, very handy. Google also offers you apps for iOS and Android so that you can remote control from your phone or tablet. One use that I have for this is if there's been a power outage, you can tell whether the machine's back up and running or not, assuming it turns back on at startup. So that's about all there is to Google Remote Desktop. Happy remoting. And a special shout out to my family for buying me my new t-shirt for my birthday, which Hitchhikers fans will recognize. Sadly, no, it's not my 42nd birthday. That was a few years ago. Question of the day. Is this looking like something that might be a good option for you? Let me know in the comments down below. And if the video is useful, give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much. The Tech Doctor exists to help you become your own technician. Learn about the technology, protect yourself from the bad guys and fix it when it breaks. There's some older episodes you may not have seen before here and here. And you can subscribe to the channel by clicking down here and to our mailing list by clicking up here. Thank you so much for watching 
Have a great day and I'll see you on the next episode.